the arc installation video. First, you're going to take your 3 inch piece of waterproof tape and we are going to put it an inch and a half above the soil an inch to an inch and a half above the soil make sure your stems dry and as clean as possible you'll wrap your tape on there then the next step you're going to take the probe or the nail and insert it you want to try at least an inch above the soil but below the tape an exact center of the stem and you just want to push with a little force and work that ground through the whole stem leaving it protruding a little bit next step is take your ground wire and you wrap your ground wire around the head of the nail and push the nail all the way into the stem. When the nail is in the stem it causes what we call super cropping and as you can tell it has a big knot on the stem it has a big knot on the stem from where it has had the probe stuck through it. After that we'll take our ground wire or silver wire Just start at the top and wrap your way down. And you might want to do about three to four wraps if you have a nice tall stem like this. Just to make sure you have more security. And there is your finished product for the plant. And next, you take the live wire to the live wire side on the Bug Buster arc. and wire nut them together. Always make sure your unit's unplugged and at the end of everything, after you set up everything, then you plug the unit in last. And do the same for the ground wire. Wrap them together on the ground side, which will be specified by a tag. Then, when everything is all done, you have the ground wire plugged in, the live wire plugged into the live side, ground to the ground side, and your ground wire wrapped around the head of your probe. And you want to keep your coils to the very bottom of the tape if you can. So this side is at the very bottom of the tape. and you plug in the unit and that is it and all done and repeat the process for the next one to five plants